Daphne comes up to me at the shared sink. Try Guys fan. First thing she says to me yes. is, you don't know this yet, but we're going to get married. Let's go home. Okay, you get it? <laughs> well, the intro. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome back to Wild Till Nine. Um, no explanation or intros needed for Zaggy. Hey. I I got what in trouble. We should, we should introduce. I was gonna say we got in trouble yeah. last week. We last got in trouble last week for I not we introducing. Can't, we can't assume that everybody knows who. Zach and I are. We, we've been I, doing that and so. we've been getting shit for it. I so. assume most people don't know who I am. Yeah. Okay, well that's that's absolutely not true. It's, so I mean, I'm the co-host of this podcast and I still assume people don't know who I am. <laughs> <laughs> that one we all agree with. And yeah. boyfriend. And boyfriend. And boyfriend. Um, so we've got Maggie, who is the better half of Zaggy. Um, Aww, and is she so is a podcast host. She is a pediatric nurse. And um, she is, oh, oh. Uh, most importantly, mother of Bosif. Oh yes. And Maggie's boyfriend. I like that. Welcome. And to it. clarify, Bosif is a dog and not a human child. <laughs> right, yes, yeah. so so sorry, so sorry. Uh, is a fur child. And we're gonna get into, we're, I, I wanna talk about fur baby things. Oh yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. Lauren is like my better half when it comes to all the things dogs. She, I feel like you are one of the few, well, there's a lot of people that- We're like, we're just mom. on the same level of crazy dog mom. Yes. Yeah. Stop. Yeah. And if you don't share this couch better- I'm than on my 50%. Do I not look like I'm 50%? Uh, there's also all this space. <laughs> Like, you guys, if I just sat this, this entire that's time. That's okay. Yeah, you got a lot of man We can make it work. See, look, yeah. that's comfy. Are you not comfy? Let's do this. this okay, that's great. super comfy. And it looks really cool. It's honestly, it's cute as fuck. It's uh, comfy. It's very cute. Everyone likes this. Well, look, then you can manspread and then like, I can be comfy great. too. Yeah. I'm happy with this. This is great. Okay. And I've got quite the view of Jeremy. Ah, uh, yeah. Gray sweatpants shoot coming tomorrow. Coming or, tomorrow. Wait, Gray Friday, sweatpants wean shoot. Friday, never mind. Um, Babe, you want to you wanna give Corn Diddy the intro? Yeah. Hmm. Corn Diddy the intro. Yeah. Mm. Hailing mm. mm. from the East Coast. Yes. A lifelong- um, <laughs> <laughs> So many words you could fill in there. <laughs> advocate for things, uh, trier of many of them. Sure. And I think probably one of the most eclectic individuals I've ever called a friend. <gasps> wow. Oh, that great word, so great word. I, I love every part of that sentence. He's just like this, this just, I mean, Zach is an enigma. Yeah. No oh. doubt. Wow. How wow. many people do you know that are even kind of close to Zach? Go high, on, tell me more. It's coming from Jeremy. You're I like, come on, give me more, shower give me more, me shower compliments. me compliments. That's, and that's, that's my quota. Yeah. <laughs> right, so it ends here. So now he's gonna be an asshole Damn. to you for yeah, the rest was, of the yeah. podcast. Hour and so 17 more minutes of just, yeah. Bask in this, <laughs> bask in this. How do you describe yourself? Uh, ooh. What's your sign? <laughs> uh, little anxious Jew boy, okay. cute, cutie boy. Neurotically. Yeah, I don't know if that would have sounded as good coming out of my mouth. Try it. Little anxious. <laughs> <laughs> How to get canceled 101. Although I am 2% Ashkenazi. You're not even, it's literally like 0.98. Like, no, like you like sipped from my drink one time when I was over here right. by accident. Right. I'm, I'm 0 0.1 according to 23andMe. And Jer Jeremy too. That, Jeremy too. That is bad data. Uh, backed by popular demand, by the way. Yeah, as soon as you guys came and guested virtually on the pod, we had a ton of requests to have you in person. Oh, so like here we are. Between one and two thousand. I'm glad to hear that because I gotta say, it's ha I'm glad to be here. But about fucking time we hang out mm. on the mm -hmm. regular. I want I want the Wild mm -hmm. Till Nine crew to know. Do they have a name? Is there a fandom name? We the, we tried really hard to come up with them, but it just it didn't come naturally. The so. Wildins. So. Wild ones. Wild, wild, ones. wild ones. That's what we ended on, wild ones. That's what we ended on. The we, Niners. The Niners, <laughs> let's go. <laughs> the <Yeah>. Tillies. See, <laughs> Shout out to all my Tillies out I there. Like, kinda like Tillies. No, Tillies. I kind of like Tillies. No, it's just the Tillies. It's Tillies. All right. Yeah, it's the Tillies. That's it's Tillies. Tillies. Yeah. Listen up, Tillies. I want you to know, Tillies, that we hang out all the GD time, okay? Yeah. Gosh darn it. Mm -hmm. uh, what when, was the root of our friendship? I'm trying to trace back, but I think I feel like we're family at this point, so I don't really- I, Yeah, where did we start? I don't know where it started, but I want just to underscore this point. We re we recently moved, we got uh -huh. a new house. Uh -huh. Night number one, no no power in the house. Lauren and Jeremy were the first people to come. <laughs> no furniture. Yeah. No furniture. Yeah. No, no electricity. We came in, I was like, bring your flashlights, y'all. Bring, bring your bean chairs. bag. <laughs> Lauren came oh my God. Your, what is it? A moon? My moon pod. Pizza I brought on my the moon floor. Pod. Yeah. Oh, it was so I nice. could cry. 
Oh, you only get one of those nights. Yeah, you do. I only get one. Yeah. yeah, and then it's just a big old um, red and a negative and a, a dollar amount next to all the things <laughs> oh, you're buying currently. expensive home ownership. Mm-hmm. No. Yeah, Jeremy tried to convince me that that I had to eat the pizza on the floor. You do. You do. Or uh, like not the beach chair, on the no, floor No, on the floor. floor. Or else it was bad luck. Cheeks and to the ground. Chronic bad back pain. I sat in my chair. You <laughs> it. No, you gave us like the old college try for like a, I, a I moment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It yeah. just takes one bite to create the memories. One bite with cheeks oh, on the ground. So oh, back to that thing where I'm done with the compliments. Zach walks in every single time to our house <laughs> to a beautiful cloud couch that every other normal person goes, <laughs> oh, oh my God, God it's a good thing. And they just kind of climb into it. And Zach goes, this will be the death of me. No, no, Zach was literally laying on the floor with an ottoman underneath his back to like stretch out his back like an arch. And then while I also fed him CBD gummies yeah. into his mouth for his chronic back pain. Did baby bird him? Yeah, I did baby bird. I, right I chewed it in my this. mouth and spit it into, yeah. Yum, yum, yum. yum and yum, that's yum. on Patreon. Yum, yum, you yum. wanna go see that, perfect. <laughs> I, the cloud couch doesn't do it for me, guys. Oh, That's know, offensive. Honestly, a lot of the couches that we have been looking at, even our current couch now, there's not a lot of couches that Zachary uh, loves. So you know what? Pretty, pretty hmm. I, I feel like you should get the couch that you want and Zach should have a, a <laughs> stiff chair in the I mean, corner. Like, <laughs> we need to get like a lazy boy with like a built-in massage. You know? No, I feel like you want something. Don't you, you want something like a, like a piece of wood? Yeah, that's Here's what I'm saying. what I want. And I've really, I've thought about this lately. So yes, I have chronic back pain, real bad inflammation, all that shit. What I need, you know, those baby bouncers? <gasps> oh, the jolly God. jumper. I need that. And <laughs> I, I love my I jolly jumper. I would be so happy. Or, or Can you have, imagine? Is that's the first thing you see when you walk into our house? And you you'd be like, is that no a children yet? Swing? Just <laughs> right. in the living room. Uh-huh. They're just walking out. Their sex life is thriving. You can just thriving. see it. You can feel the energy in the room. Yeah, but you're one of the few people. Zach, when he watches TV, he's like one of the few people that I know that can just sit in the same spot, back up, and just enjoy the movie. I'm I can like freak in like ten different positions. Yeah. I'm like, on the side, same on my mm. back. burrito, yeah, blanket, burrito. snacks. I don't think that's true. I I end up squirming all over the place. When I first met you, you were very good. Like in the movie theaters, I have a hard time. Like my feet are up, my feet are down. <laughs> Me too. My movie theater, but like underneath my my butt. Yeah, yeah. tucked. Yeah. Speaking yeah. of first date, I don't know the story. Oh <gasps> yeah. <gasps> Ours. Wait, I yeah. don't know the story. I know I want, where you okay, met. No, defla- uh, this is what I wanted to ask. Our when show. I was downstairs. You're the guest. You're going with the story. I don't know <laughs> the root of your guys' relationship. And oh, it's I really feel fun. Like your- I'll ask a question too. <laughs> <laughs> Actually. Okay, wait, so Maggie, you go first for your first date and then we'll go with our how we met story. How okay. about we tell them both at the same time? That we'll, sounds really fun we'll for our caption two, person. Three. We'd really love that. No, we'll do a couple a couple lines and then okay. we'll pause and then we'll go to your okay. story okay. and we'll pause okay. and okay. then we'll come back. Oh, my intent and span. Okay, yeah, okay. I love this. Can we do it in the form of a, of a haiku? <laughs> Do you want our first date or how we met? I know how you met. Go give us our first date. Okay, go for it. He really wanted to say the how, how you met. You could just you could see it. No, 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 no. Okay. Uh, so, hmm. first date. Okay. So when and we bonus met, points if you know what day it is. I certainly don't know the day. No. <laughs> the day. Oh, Zach. <laughs> I feel like it was very shortly after we met. Within a week. It was within a week. Yeah. Oh, putting the moves on. I know. Oh. I there, thought he was gonna make me wait. There was a miscommunication when we met where we, we both, we, we mentioned a ramen place. Uh, it was a Tatsu, no, not Tatsu. It was Jinya. Jinya. Oh, Jinya, okay. Yeah. And there Great are two ramen. Jinyas in Los Angeles. <gasps> There's more now. I There's thought one. there was the one near me. <gasps> she thought it was the one near her. And I was like, oh, sick. We we're practically neighbors, but no, we lived on opposite sides of the 405, mm-hmm. which I, I thought about this recently. I think had we both known that we've been like, yeah, Sorry. not where no, that's not going to work. Not, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> And for people in, in Iowa that are listening, the 405 is like, if, you, if you've ever like heard of Mount Everest, mm-hmm. crossing that, it's kind of like that, but in highway form. Yeah, it would. Yeah. It, we weren't very far. I think we were within like seven miles of each other, but just crossing. The wrong miles. Crossing, wrong miles. I was on the other side of the 405, which added 20 extra more minutes of an already 20 minute drive. Right. So it would take like 40 minutes to get to Zach. That's tough. I did not have the heart to tell him that the, Jinya ramen place that he told me to meet him at was not in my neighborhood. And I luckily, I confirmed the address. I've no, I knew to do that. He okay. dibbed it. He's I like, invited her to out my Jinya. Yeah, and I didn't say anything because I was like, okay, fine. Wow, that's a, that's a, you went. So sick. you went to your, your Jinya? Mm-hmm. My Jinya. Okay. And the story pauses. Okay, so now we go to us. <laughs> Is oh. this a terrible idea? No, <laughs> no, I know. Uh, how long will this last? Well, <laughs> our episodes are already 
generally ADHD just driven because right, of right, me. Right, right, right. Yeah, and yeah, now yeah. We're, we're actually playing a game that makes it even more um, harder to follow, like harder to follow. This will be so fun for us. But yeah. go ahead. Okay, so Jeremy and I met uh, probably about two and a half years before we actually started dating. Ooh. And so I don't know if you remember this, Maggie, when there was like a time on YouTube when like parody music was popular. So like the roast yourself rap, I did a rap called DIY Queen. Mm -hmm. Also, we talked about DIY Queen in a few podcasts ago and someone was like, wow, I didn't know that was a parody song. <laughs> and I was like, oh my God, I can't believe you walked around the earth thinking that that was me making like an attempt at music. Oh my God, humiliating for me. Oh, like, oh my God. It, it was more like satire than parody, right? Satire, yeah, 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 okay. yeah, that's a better word to describe it. Mm -hmm. So the company that Jeremy worked for did music distribution Got and it. being a musical artist of satire, <laughs> um, my management company was uh, like connected to their distribution company to do all of like the YouTubers who were doing like real- Did you real... think he was hot? Mm -hmm. Did well, you think he was hot? So- Did you look at his sweatpants print? We only talked on the phone. Did you think his so voice yes. was did hot? Did you think his voice was hot? <laughs> Can I tell? Can I tell him what I thought at first? Did you have phone sex with him? She thought I was gay. <laughs> <laughs> he was just so nice. He was so nice. And so my straight assistant- Straight guys aren't nice. Yeah, no. Yeah, straight guys aren't nice. I know. And so my assistant Only assistant us. and I were, <laughs> we found out that he was engaged as well. Mm, and we were both just like- woman. To a woman. Mm. And we were like, oh my God, I thought Jeremy from STEM was gay. And the story pauses. <gasps> oh, wow. That was great. Okay. Thanks, babe. Yeah, what do you guys got? Yeah. Our first date, we went on ramen. So I planned out this. Wait, I told the first part. Well, okay, one little detail. <laughs> I think it's really important for a first date to have a, a two parter, okay? Oh. You want it? I had a lot of failed relationships. <gasps> Wait, I know but the second date. half of this story. It has dairy involved. Yeah. Yes. Okay, go ahead, go ahead. But for me, it was like, okay, I chose the ramen spot knowing that right around the corner was a bar where we could go play darts, okay? Darts. Cute. Are, yeah, because you want to have a little bit yeah. of like low, interaction, low stakes competition. Yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Uh, Maggie said no to that idea. She had a better <laughs> yeah, so In my defense, I don't think I ever told you this, but like after we had ramen, I was like super, no one feels great after having ramen. You feel True. sodium and waterlogged. Yeah, I have like, yeah. my belly's full of noodle yeah. and like high sodium broth yes. and pork. Yes. And All right, nurse, vegetables. we get it. I feel I the same feel way. Good. I didn't want to have It's not beer. a sexy food. No. So we ended up going to a tea house. Wait, right. was that first or second? No, no, first was the other thing. Wow, this had three parts to it this yeah, day? We, yeah. Well, yeah, we kept going. We wow. wanted to keep hanging out. Oh, that's, that's so adorable. cute. So she goes, let's go to milk. I think that's where we milk. ended up. Yeah. To get ice cream. And okay, we're well, both lactose intolerant, but we what? didn't have the heart to tell each to other. To tell each other? Oh my God. But like, God. what do you do after a date besides drink? Get dessert. Honestly, no, you don't dessert. put dairy on top of ramen in your tummy. That's a, you yeah. Get, but we Any did it. form of dessert oh that's interesting that evening. I love milk. I love Ice that you both sandwiches. made sacrifices like that for each other. That's so romantic. I also, <laughs> I'll, I'll always remember it was Purim, which is kind of like Jewish Halloween yeah, for, yeah, yeah. for Hasid Hasidic Jews. Uh -huh. And so there were a bunch of like costumed Jews, <laughs> Jewish children <laughs> running around us as we were eating ice cream on the street. I'm like, this is fun and surreal. So Maggie's with her people. Yeah. <laughs> Got it. <laughs> yeah. And then afterwards, she was like, "You want? I, you must have been very bloated at that point because you had oh, yeah. all the sodium noodles, the ice cream that is not good for you." Yeah. And then I was like, "Do you want to get some tea? We can get some chamomile tea." And I was like, "I'm gonna marry this bitch." What the fuck? <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> and like, flash forward now, Zach has a tea company. Yeah. He literally, is a tea company. Well, how full circle? Yeah. That's so cute. <laughs> wow. That's so cute. Wait, so how long do you think the first date was? Oh. <sighs> I think it was like at least five hours. No, that's chaos. Maybe not. What, I we, feel like- A seven o'clock dinner and we were- I mean, we hang out with them for five hours and it true. feels like 30 minutes. Yeah, that's true. That's so nice. <laughs> that's so <laughs> nice. nice thing I've never said. Aww. I have a friend who had a nine hour first date. <gasps> I know. That's a lot. It was like a dinner, a movie, more food, a bar. Like it was the most insane Are they date. still together? No, oh, fuck. <laughs> super no. Yeah, they that's exhausted a lot of the relationship they exhausted in, one in that one day. And yeah. Nine hour date without drugs. Without drugs. Wow. Yeah. I think fully sober, like not even like really drinking or anything. I like, guess like the movie choice is good for a first date because it doesn't put that much pressure on I don't, you. To kind I of think actually no. movies are the worst first yeah. date. Really? Yeah. yeah. Shame on you. Listen, listen, listen. But they also <laughs> had like nine hours. 
afterwards. Like you can still go to a movie right. and have like, yes, right. if you're like have a nine hour date, you can throw <laughs> like, a let's movie assume in there. They have something to do with their life after the day. Or you can have dinner before and then go to the movie. No. Here's no? the thing for everyone listening out there, if you're if you're young in the dating world and you're like, what are they talking about? Movies, you're you're not engaging with the other person. No, you're literally no. sitting by yourself in a theater in the dark. Not That's a good true. first date. Maybe like in the towards the end of the first ten, sure. Mm. Yeah, 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 I agree. Yeah. First ten is fine. Because then you can just go like go see something that you want to see. Speaking of a movie, uh, we actually were supposed to see a movie on our second date, and instead, Lauren says, "You just want to come over." Oh, okay. Well, right. there's there was something that happened in between that that led to that, but mm. um. But I know that you don't like movie theaters. Uh, yeah, I get I get a little Where's anxious in movie lie? theaters. Where's a lie? Well, how much we try to pull on the internet right now is what I want to know. <laughs> <laughs> trying to get the views here. <laughs> No, I, I find, I feel a little trapped in movie theaters mm -hmm. and because I feel the pressure to like, you know what happens? I had one really bad anxiety attack during Suicide Squad and mm. I felt so bad. My ex had to like leave with me because I was like physically not okay. The movie mm. was that bad, huh? Yeah. yeah. So bad, yeah. And it just like sent me into a paralyzing yeah, anxiety. Not, not Will Smith's best. Yeah. And um, <laughs> we need to make sure the next movie that we go to with Lauren to is above 95% on Rotten Tomatoes. On Rotten Tomatoes. To and then I'll be sure okay. Trolls that you three. Are invested. Trolls three. Oh my yes. gosh, this is another. Oh, sure our, our, our friendship, yes, yes. trolls. Our love Lauren trolls. and I's love for trolls. And we, Jeremy, don't shake your head at me because you're wrong. We you're are, actually- The visuals were nice. You're you're the odd one out here because Zach can get down with trolls. Oh, I'm, I'm full yeah. on yeah. board. Yeah. I remember that enigmatic, enigmatic thing uh, that's coming full circle here, yeah. yeah. Right, well, you guess you're not an enigmatic. Oh, listen, I love that you guys love trolls. Here's the thing, you like to enjoy things like, because you enjoy trolls, you want me to also enjoy trolls with you? Yeah, I do. Whereas like, I'm like, I'll just go watch a documentary while you no. guys do this. It's because she loves you and she wants to share the things that I, she I know. loves yeah. with you. Yeah. So. Did I sit there? Yes. Lightning round, finish how you met, and then let's get out of this shit. Okay, okay. <laughs> um, so, thought he was gay. Okay, uh, engaged to not me. Yeah. And uh, <laughs> not who was we also- We had a above our head of the amount of times that we've said engaged to not me on this podcast, it'd be at least 99. Good it's merch. just like a shocking thing to think about that like, it, it, that came before me at some but point. Fortunately, <laughs> hey, hey Tillies, leave a comment below if you want to engage <laughs> not to me merch. Just yeah, yeah. <laughs> engage, not but to not me. to me. <laughs> yeah, wrap it up here. Um, I was in another relationship, da da da. Whatever, things fall apart on both sides. And two and a half years later, Jeremy had been single and just you know making his way through all of the women of LA. <laughs> um, it just mm -hmm. just straight fuckboy phase, mm -hmm. and so. He, you know what though? Some guys need to do that. Like he needed to get that out of his system. And I'm so like, we met at the perfect time. Yeah, timing uh, is everything. Timing is everything. If Zach just, and I met when we were 11, oh my God. Just two <laughs> two insults and a compliment. Two yeah. insults and a compliment. Two insults and a compliment. Mm -hmm. yeah. and a compliment. Yeah. We're on the compliment now, I think. Compliment sandwich. You know? And so he saw me on Raya, the like quote unquote celebrity dating app. Whoa. And then you slid Raya? into my- No, I'm not. How would I have been on Raya? If I was on Raya, it's not that hard. Yeah, but you knew the tech person. Yeah. Yeah, but there's like my nerd way. You were the nerd way. Yeah, I don't think they allow pediatric nerds. <laughs> <laughs> now that you mention it, that was not the that number one, two, the or clientele. top hundred. No. no. Yeah. You should get on there right now and see how you do. Okay. Back to you. <laughs> Saw me on Raya, slid into my DMs on Instagram. I missed it. It went to like the general folder. <gasps> I know, it. I missed it. I really oh, did miss it. I didn't realize there's subcategories of Raya where you can like get into it. No, 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 no. on Instagram. Oh, I see. Slid into yeah. my DMs on Instagram. Gotcha. And then I saw him on Hinge and slid into his messages on Hinge. Yeah, fuck you, Raya. <laughs> yeah, fuck you, Raya. And um, because I was like newly single and I was like very much looking to go on dates with people that I like, I kind mm -hmm. of had acquaintance or like somehow knew like I wasn't ready to like go on a date with a stranger. And I was like, oh, it's like, this is Jeremy from STEM. I was like, oh, is Jeremy from STEM single now? Did a little deep dive. And I was like, oh, Jeremy from STEM is cute. And then, and then, oh, if we finished the other half of the story because Jeremy got real aggressive to go on our first date because oh. he was drunk. He was drunk when he got the message. <gasps> go ahead. Why am I picking up here? Because this is the, I, I just want to, I like you yourself. I want to hear how you tell the story because. When Lauren first reached out to me to mm -hmm. see, you know, on Hinge, if we wanted to go on a date, I knew exactly what I wanted, which was a date. And so I, I got straight to the point. Yeah. That's it. Was that the first message? Let's date. <laughs> what I will say is I think it was like, she started with, I'll always remember this line. Hey, friend. <laughs> <laughs> and you know, just, Okay, got it. And I was in the car drunk at the time and uh -huh. I was responding just, just like, 
tweet storm, but not a tweet, just like, hey, what's up? Oh, it's good to see you. Actually, I think I said, I said something about your dog in DMs on Instagram the other day. Hey, uh, what's your schedule this week? <laughs> no, you're like, let's grab dinner this week. Is Tuesday good? Tuesday, hey, there. Just, what day was it, Monday? I <laughs> love that. <laughs> right. No, but so then I I had like just started getting back on the dating apps and I- <laughs> That's like, an aggressive move. <laughs> meanwhile, I'm all about the Tesla approach of just like, hey, what's going on? How are you? What works? It was so, it was And so aggressive. Jeremy has like game, but like I caught him Not off- that night. I, nope. I literally, I caught him off guard when he was drunk and he wasn't, it wasn't ready for it and he did not have any game. He and sounds so efficient though. He's I, like, it was efficient. Yeah. So I hadn't opened my app in like maybe 12 hours since he sent that at night. And so like I hadn't opened my app in the morning oh, and no. he followed up in in the morning oh, no. as if I had ignored the oh, message. No. <laughs> <laughs> I got him squirmy, guys. I know, he's got squirmies. Fa hey, Cir Lauren. Circling back on this. Hey, follow me on my above note. Yeah, I circled Bumping back. to the top of your inbox in case you missed it. Right. <laughs> bump, bump, yeah, right. ping, ping. Bump. I, I don't know what I said. Something along the lines of just like, well, fuck me, huh? Yeah, but you didn't say that, but something along those lines. Right, and that you're was like, oh the, my God, it's so sorry, look at me up, it's crazy. Tuesday's great. Tuesday's great. <laughs> you wanna and make then, a podcast uh, together? I showed up with a dog toy at um, Firefly in Studio City. <gasps> yeah, it was really cute. Oh, on October cute. 16th. This fucking one. I know the date. Also, she got me a gift very early into our really? relationship. Oh my gosh, I, we talk about this. A uh, and you really doing that, like crazy. I, the yeah. idea of like- Dog toy. Am I the that's Jeremy? That's a gift though. Am I oh, the yeah. Jeremy in this relationship? It's a great gift. And that's a fucking move, Jeremy. And I love it. Like, wow, I'm impressed. But it never, ever occurred to me to do that. So and she I did had, that and you did that. And look at us now. I had gone to Seattle. Pretty early on when we was first like, started dating within a month. Literally, no, I think it was literally in between our first and second date. That is not true. It was in between our second and third. But yeah, it I was remember early. It, it freaked him out because I was in- It freaked him out, Zach. No, yeah. No. Except the gift. What I, the fuck? I, he didn't say right away, but we were dating probably like six months from then. And I was like, remember when I got you that? It was a cat sandwich cutter or like a cookie a cat cutter. Wait, shape. that's so cute. It was so and cute. And Zach never had a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. So I made him a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Hang on, sandwich. pause, pause, hang on, stop, 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 stop. everything, stop. You can't just put stop. that you little there. Yeah, What do you mean, hang on, hang on. Expect yeah. us to Hold go everything. Let me finish my point. So he had never had one, so I <laughs> we're putting, We need to put a pin in this right now and circle back immediately <laughs> Maggie, after. No one's okay. gonna listen to a word no, you No, 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 it's okay, go ahead, go ahead. We put a pin in it. So I made him uh, a peanut butter and jelly sandwich and like stamped out little cats that is for him. Adorable! Back oh to the my god! Back to the peanut I, butter. What do you mean you didn't have a peanut butter? How old were you when you met? Uh, was, yeah, I was a wildly picky kid. Yeah, but uh, peanut butter and jelly is like what like you everybody. eat as a wildly picky no. kid. No, yeah. so the smell of peanut butter grossed me out. He's wrong. And now okay, yeah. I, don't I know, love like, it. I love laughter. It. <laughs> Joy, puppies. I, there's just were so many things I refused to eat as a child, but now like, yes, peanut butter, I love, but this is like years old. That's so what so was crazy. like your wow. go-to kid sandwich then if it wasn't PB&J? I didn't eat, I, I didn't really eat sandwiches. Bologna? Yeah, like bologna and turkey. But and he's shit. such a sandwich guy now. Whenever we go out of town, he has to find like the best sandwich shop, right? You love cold cuts. But, well, I, I love a cold cut too. I did. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Before I- Cold cuts. But Changed anyway, my diet. I, don't, I didn't understand that. Uncrustables as a kid. Oh, oh my best. God. So Strawberry. You, the smell of an Uncrustable, like, no? Well, yes, but I have no nostalgia for it. Now I'm like, yeah. But mm. this is all this is all new for me. Like I had okay. my first what? Uncrustable in the pandemic. Wow. <gasps> we, what? Let yes. me tell you this. We were uh, like, I knew I was, I was tracking as an immunosuppressed homie. I was tracking this Corona thing very closely yes. in the beginning. Yes. And we were out one time and I'm like, Maggie, I'm gonna, can you go in to the supermarket and stock up for us? Mm -hmm. So she goes into Target. She's gone for like 30 minutes. I'm reading. She that's, a, and that's not him. That's a light speed Target yeah. trip. Very, I just wanna like, be very clear. That is very quick. She yes. comes back. Was she like, says, the line was overwhelming. I got two boxes of Uncrustables. <laughs> And that was it. It was the point of that, time where everyone was hoarding. Right, he's like, hoarding. Go get, he's like, why didn't you get toilet I'm paper? Like, if the fucking world shuts down, you this is not gonna keep us I got going. I saw towels too. I was like, these are rewashable. We <laughs> can use these for The necessities. Oh. So yeah. Uncrustables and rewashable and towels. And wash, wash So that was my first two weeks of the pandemic, my exclusive diet, yeah. Uncrustables. And what did you think? Oh, incredible. Yeah. Okay. okay, all right, good. Okay, good. So this good. podcast yeah, is so not we can sponsored continue. by, but we would love it. sure as hell could be. Yes. Be. Oh my In fact, God. If you just send product, we'll eat it. Yeah. Oh my God. I would was... do the Uncrustable Pod where, okay, here's my pitch, okay? It's okay. called the Uncrustable Podcast. And every week we invite guests on and we eat Uncrustables while we slowly peel the, la the, the layers the crust, of their. The layers Ooh. of them. Oh, and the, we get yes. into, into their gooey center. An ASMR. Oh. Also, Maggie once <laughs> microwaved it way too much and it burned my you, mouth you apart. Have to be, 
You can't microwave. I know. You I said, take them out I of the usually, I usually it- set them on the counter, but I couldn't wait that long. I just, I just needed it. I needed no. it. Yeah. No, uh-uh. Yeah. Here's what happened. I put mine on the counter <laughs> and she fucking that ate it. That works? And then said, I'm so sorry. I, I got you. I just come back from a 12 microwaved hour I gotta be honest. And gave I'm me the third degree burns on my <laughs> mouth. <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll heat it up. It'll be fine. It'll be the same. One bite. Can't taste anything for a week. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So we are the we are the same person in the relationship. Yeah. yeah. I mean, we are both dating. And a Leo. Yeah. Both Leos. Yeah. And that's what came to mind when you said we're both. You are dating now a Leos. podcast host. I am now a podcast host. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You and I are very bad at Instagram and social media. It's not that I'm bad at it. I just don't give a shit. Yeah. I do, you know, us. I think that is part of why this friendship works. Cause like oh, we have yeah. like, we are the same, they uh-huh, are the same, uh-huh. but you guys vibe, we vibe, yeah. we all vibe. Oh, that's a, so uh, true. We, yeah, I never made that connection. I also, I was pointing but on an audio I medium. No one could like, see. Okay. No, 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 but like there's a vibe, a vibe, a vibe. If you're on the audio side and you want to just continue to play in that and then also go to YouTube and play them simultaneously. Dude, that's right, okay. Right, right, right. But no matter what duo, we vibe it. Oh, we vibing. <laughs> Always. Uh, that's fair. Our next sponsor is one that we have raved about here on Wildto9. BetterHelp is a safe and private environment online that connects you with the help that you may need. If you're feeling like something is interfering with your happiness, but you would rather skip the uncomfortable waiting rooms, sign on to BetterHelp to get what you need right from home. BetterHelp is not a crisis line. It's not self-help. It is professional counseling done securely online. Everything you share is confidential and you can send a message to your counselor at any time. They also give you the option to set up scheduled video or phone sessions weekly if you wanna stick to a routine. I've talked about how frustrating it is that getting help can sometimes be so crazy expensive. Well, BetterHelp is changing that with affordable prices and available financial aid. BetterHelp is also committed to facilitating great therapeutic matches so they make it easy and free to change your counselors if needed. I always say that doing therapy is like dating. So when I switched counselors, it was super easy and the most streamlined process. And having someone you can feel comfortable with is extremely important. This is something I love about BetterHelp. So wait, switching uh, partners when you're dating is really seamless and easy? I'm actually not entirely sure that you heard that correctly. <laughs> okay, got it. But uh, uh-huh. nice try, nice okay. try. Uh, anyway, so uh, we want you to start living a happier life today. So as our listener, you'll get 10% off your first month by visiting our sponsor at betterhelp.com slash WT9. Join over 1 million people who have taken charge of their mental health. Again, that's betterhelp, H-E-L-P, dot com slash WT9. Lauren, how would you describe my skincare routine? Um, I mean, uh, my initial take reaction- your, Take your time. My initial reaction was, um, what skincare routine? Okay, oh. and if you were to um, uh, be, uh, maybe just try it a different way. Mm. Maybe you could say it like, um, mm. it's regimented. Regimented doing nothing. Uh, um, That's a routine. Okay, well, that felt meaner than it needed to be. I will admit, I'm, a bit of a creature of habit when it comes to my soap preferences in particular. But once I find something that works, I, good luck getting me to change, which speaks to just how blown away I am by Thick, the new product from Duke Cannon Supply Company. Thick earns its name by being three times thicker than common body washes. It's the high viscosity alternative to watching your money run down the shower drain. Thick comes in a big ass container that cracks open, not unlike a beer, and comes in four distinct scents that are scientifically proven to make anyone lucky enough to stand down when from you want to get just a little bit closer. Um, yeah, I mean, I'm I'm not mad at it. I will say <laughs> that I have been enjoying how good you smell when you get out of the shower recently. And uh, I know your favorite is unsurprisingly the bourbon oak barrel, but I also love the old glory scent. It has like cabin vibes. The body washes each go for $9 each or all four for 30. Thick is made from plant-based thickeners for superior lather, and it also comes in a 17 and a half ounce bottle, so you don't have to worry about running out fast. Visit DukeCanon.com and use promo code WT9 for 10% off your entire order. That's free shipping with orders over $20 as well. A range of Duke Cannon men's premium products are also available at select Target stores. Uh, you guys both, I find this fascinating. I think about it all the time. You are well, you're kind of a performer. You have a performer background. Mm-hmm. You are retired. Mm-hmm. But you are non-performers who were thrust into performer spotlight. This was on my notes app of things to talk about. Then let's oh, talk about it. I know. Okay. 
Oh, well, no, go ahead. I feel like <laughs> you're the guest. You're the guest. We're supposed to be talking. You're the host. <laughs> you're the host. Tell us where to go. No, but I mean, that's like something that I think about as well too, that like getting dragged. We, we come with a lot of baggage, Zach, oh, you and I. Yeah. We come with fucking baggage. And when you, when, when a viewer is used to an idea of you and you introduce a new person mm-hmm. that like they feel could be taking away from the person that they know or mm-hmm. adding something that's unfamiliar, like, you, Jeremy got hate messages for the first year and a half that we dated. And only yeah. 14 oh. of those were from me. <laughs> right. <laughs> True. You're not good enough for her. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. And so like you just get thrust into this weird position and we kept our relationship like mildly offline for like the first, I yeah. mean, you guys were- Two years. Yeah, Almost two three. years. I think it hit the three year anniversary. No like kidding. Two months after you came out of that video. Whew. Let's talk about that. That Maggie mm. video was the cutest shit I've ever seen in my entire life. Aww. Very cute. I don't know if I've seen it, but I bet Aww. it is cute. It's How adorable. dare you? Yeah, fake fan, <laughs> fake fan. You're telling me you don't watch everything I've ever made. <laughs> That's yes. rude. Uh, Zach, it makes you feel better. Jeremy hasn't watched a single Lord DIY video. <laughs> it does I think it's important to have a little bit of separation from um, uh, online persona in real world persona. <laughs> and that's my separation. <laughs> <laughs> Keeps the magic alive. Right, yeah. <laughs> I watch a lot of Zach stuff though. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but you guys actually, what, almost three years. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And nobody knew. No. It honestly flew by. Our friends knew. Our fr- All our friends, yeah. <laughs> right. yeah. All, all our friends knew, but it flew by so quickly. Um, but well, I don't I don't have any regrets in keeping it so a actually, secret when it was, just let, because. Let me add some like, some like parameters here. So you met. Mm-hmm. And you had already had some level of like internet fame. No, no, Zach was famous, famous. I was lowercase f. Okay, lowercase. He had hundred and sixteen k Instagram followers. I still remember that. But how many how many subscribers on YouTube? Like millions. We were we were at Buzzfeed, Buzzfeed. at that point, so I didn't. You know, we yes, the Try Guys was a very popular yeah, thing. Yeah, right. Let's so not be modest. This, it's okay. She was with me before we went so low. Mm-hmm. Ooh. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. you knew that you were getting into a relationship with someone that was going to have different. Uh, rules, parameters than but normal. But you whatever. didn't know that when we met. When we met, no. But once we started dating, she was like, "Who the fuck is this?" You were just a stranger in in the the gay bar bathroom. Just yeah. a very charming, super hot, mm. irresistible yeah, I wonder, stranger. Like how it was for you dating on Hinge with it. Ha- she went on two fucking dates. Oh, that's it, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Maggie. When I tell you, I was about to be a ho. <laughs> Like I, I'm, I'm a notorious serial dater. And so I got yeah. in my last relationship and I was like, fuck dating, fuck men. I am going to just go on a rampage. The world here I came. Aww. The world was deprived of Ho Lauren. <laughs> now, Jeremy, Ho Lauren. this isn't fair because you got your Ho phase and Lauren did not. So what, you, if, did you ever think about giving her like a rum springer? <laughs> <laughs> I will say I did ask some very pointed questions. You did? Before we, before I was comfortable asking you out. Yeah. Mm. It was, did you fuck your ex and you fuck somebody random? Mm. I checked both the ding, boxes. Ding, and I said, we can date. Mm. Yeah, I also feel like, I feel like some guys feel the need to like feel that validation of having their hoe face a little more than, the, maybe just the people that I'm surrounded by, but <laughs> a lot of my guy friends, I feel like feel the need to like fill that void. Oh, they're trying <laughs> to fill a void, all right. <laughs> yes. Yeah, so Let's go back to your relationship. <laughs> <laughs> so you, you met him and, and I, I've heard this story and I don't, you know, I hate to make you tell it again, but I think it's really fucking cute the whole like um, how it all came to be. Oh yes, yes. And yes. Zach, of course, being the ideal uh, knight in shining armor in the gay man's bathroom, mm-hmm. walk us through that. Oh, so now we're so we're back we told we're the first thing. Back. Now we yes, are telling you. Well, yeah. he brought yeah. it up, and, I, and now I'm like, I remember, and it's a pretty cute story. Okay, so I'm gonna need to hear it again. Okay. Um. So one of my really close friends from Seattle had come to visit me and stay with me for like I think a week. Why do you have so many friends in Seattle? Is it Seattle? Like, like I know, right? Same friend. It was the same friend that okay. I went to go visit. Okay. Um, she came to visit me because she had just broken up with a longtime boyfriend. Ooh. She was like, I don't want to go to Santa Monica. There's all these bros. Bro-y yeah. It's the classic. Bro I want to dance, but I don't want any boys. Yeah. So she's like, let's just like have a go to the night. Abbey. That's like, a safe space. That and I was just like, <laughs> you haven't been have to this. <laughs> you haven't been to this Seriously. part of ta- part of LA because she had visited me before. And I was mm-hmm. like, let's go to West Hollywood. You've never been there. We could have so much fun. So we went out there and we were in line for, it was like a co-ed line and it was like a communal bathroom. I guess this is where I have to take over. Yeah, yeah. Take so over. we're falling off now. Yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> when I saw you and everything became fuzzy. We, uh, <laughs> fuck you. 
Um, we simultaneously were out celebrating, and it was the one night actually uh, the Try Guys. Oh, mm. uh, it was wait. One, this was the this is a big night. This was a big night. This is a big night. Yeah, one of the few nights where we actually decided to go to the straight bars, and then they sucked. And Eugene was like, "You fucking idiots, gay bar time." I'm in the bathroom. This girl uh, comes. So Ma- Shannon, who is Maggie's friend, Seattle mm. friend, Seattle, mm. Seattle Shannon, old Seattle, oh <laughs> Seattle, old Seattle makes a friend in the bathroom the way that only girls can. Yes. Yeah. This- drunk drunk person in the bathroom is like the the most instant friendship. Yeah. Or just uh, even being at a like a public setting, you're like, I like your outfit. It's no, like I like nice your no, outfit. The, the only conversation that happens between two strangers that are men in the bathroom is this. Yo. Hey. Yo. So, and that's all you need. Nice dick. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> Go on. Uh, Seattle makes friends with Daphne. Shout out to Daphne if you're out there. You made this love blossom. Daphne comes up to me at the shared sink. Try Guys fan. First thing she says to me yes. is, you don't know this yet, but we're going to get married. Uh, she's drunk. Then Shannon stumbles in and goes, I just took a little bit of a bump of cocaine from a man in a banana hammock. I think it's okay. Is, is it okay? I think it's going to be okay, right? It's going to be okay. Just a, it was just a little bit of cocaine. was hiding completely sober behind these two girls. Looking at me like, huh? <laughs> what the fuck? So, who this? So and clueless. Meanwhile, I'm like, this is the greatest night of my right. life. <laughs> I'm in <laughs> options. <laughs> uh, yeah. Three beautiful people just stumbled into my life. Let's go party. One of which is definitely more beautiful than the other two. Yeah, well, yes. Yes. Uh, yes. Well, then it became very clear that um, uh, I don't want to slander Daphne. Wonderful, very sweet. Not your wife. Seattle uh, was fucking hopped up on cocaine <laughs> <laughs> and was overwhelming. So I was like, Maggie seems more tame. Uh, we talked and here we are. Yep. We were wow. sitting in our apartment before we moved couple of weeks ago, I was like, Zach, we met in line for a bathroom and now we share a house <laughs> and a dog. You know what's so funny is that like, that's such like a traditional way of meeting. Like I barely know yeah, any but people cr- but no that one like, does. no one meets that way anymore. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And it's I remember like, when I was online on- workplace. I was on uh, like the dating apps and I had to explain to my mom. I was like, oh yeah, I'm on Tinder. My mom was like, what? Sorry, <laughs> Tinder, when it was like first becoming right, a thing when I was right, in right, right, and like strangers, yeah, and stranger how danger. Weird, how weird that was, but now it's just, you know, it's so normal. Like, yeah, yeah. It's, I feel like it's it. the. Go, I feel go, like go, go, we're go. the weirdos. I'm gonna bring it all the way back, though. You both dated people who were online. What was that like for you? Mm. And what was the calculation there of like, yeah, I'm going to share myself now with the internet. Are we talking about my last girlfriend that was online? Or yeah, this well, one was online? Yeah, no, but that was a different, that was a different type of online though. True. Mm-hmm. Yeah, this True. is completely different. Yeah. Maggie, take it away. Um, I didn't really have to think about it. And I kind of liked that we kept everything a secret so early on because it didn't add that pressure. Mm-hmm. Um, but then after like three years, Zach was like, I hate making this like single guy content. It feels like really insincere. Like I need to because it's so part of my persona. Right. I need to kind of- that, you were the, that was your, your character on the mm-hmm. Try Guys. Mm-hmm. Yeah, your shtick. Mm-hmm. A lot of people identified with that yeah. and like loved that content. So he, we kind of had like a small discussion. I was like, yeah, fine. Like I'm not like internet. <laughs> I'm not going viral. anywhere. I'm not, yeah. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. But uh, yeah. I, and then how was like the initial reaction? Like were people nice to you? Everyone, I mean the Try Guy community is so sweet. Yeah. Um, it wasn't until like podcast stuff until like I saw like mean stuff. So I've kind of had to like, that has come with time though. Like it wasn't all at once. Right. Oh, and yeah. I feel like- It's like a good like transition into the internet world, I feel like. Yeah. And it was more like my family members and like my coworkers more adapting to- Yeah. Cause she goes from fucking zero to 90,000 Instagram like followers overnight. Yeah. It was right. wild. It was wild. And Explain so, that to your- your, yeah, right, like, your colleagues. Wait, I'm sorry, your boyfriend does what? Yeah, right. yeah, 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 yeah. She's yeah. a fucking nurse. <laughs> right. <laughs> Most nurse children. in the world. <laughs> yeah. Which is cool. It's awesome. Yeah. And do you want my sort of that? Yeah. Like, how was it for you? I, I feel like we're having like a little therapy well, session. Well, mine where was we, very right. different than that. Yeah. I, working in, a, like, after being in a relationship with someone who's in the public eye, not from like a YouTube perspective, like, but music, which is a very different world, but also it's all kind of the same thing. True, yeah. I think the last thing that I wanted <laughs> was a relationship with someone- Was me? Well, mm. No, 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 that you were of course- Really because I, your 400 text messages bear right. expected <laughs> effort. <laughs> like your desperate fucking attempt. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just like send, 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 yeah. Hey, um, making sure those all went through. Yeah, <laughs> um, it says something on my side. But, line. 
Yeah. I you know what? Sure. Realizing it did go through, my bad. <laughs> Realize that last one might come off as a little pushy. Aww. Didn't mean to. Hope you're having a great night. <laughs> And here's my number if you just want to text me. Poor Jagger. Oh, God. Here we are, it's fine. Um, no, I think I was going through the motions at that time. It's not that I wasn't like, oh, I'm attracted to her. I don't think that I was like, oh, this is going to lead to a relationship. Mm. And I also thought she was a big old prude. So I don't know exactly what my-, <laughs> my But a prude that you obviously like were very like- Enamored with my love. Mm. 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 Good word. Hmm. Anyway, so I remember showing <laughs> up specific- at the end of his whole phase and yeah. wanted a challenge. <laughs> like, right, like, what right. can I do? No, but like, I remember showing up at this first date and being genuinely shocked because I've worked so close to the talent world, but from the business side. Mm -hmm. And I think it's funny because we, like, we mentioned the whole, you know, meeting in person versus meeting on a dating app. Like I had Lauren's number, I had her assistant's number, like mm -hmm. probably knew where she lived, all the things that I really wanted to look at it because it was in the old work system. Right. But to me, and maybe it's like, I'm like, uh, post uh, people doing creepy shit in the workplace where it's like, you don't get to use that number right. if you got it at work. Yeah, yeah. That's like I, a breach of confidentiality oh, for sure. Yeah. But, <laughs> but even if it's not, right? Like, let's say like your workplace, it doesn't make it illegal for you to like reach out. Totally. Or like if I could have spent all my time trying to figure out how to finesse my way into that. Yeah. To me, it was like, there's just this blocker on if you get the contact in a professional setting. You haven't earned it. Yeah. yeah, you're right. Yeah, that's it. a good way to look at it. So you haven't like, earned it. I feel like I wasn't looking at Lauren in the same lens that I was looking at other hinge matches mm -hmm. at the time. Even though like I obviously slid in the DMs on Instagram about a dog. That to me felt different than like, oh, hey, I still have your number from two and a half years ago when you did that DIY queen video parody, what's up? <laughs> it's just different for me. So the thing was we went on our first date and all of the way that she presented herself and the way that she, I guess, like put her foot forward, whether it's like her best foot or not, uh -huh. was the exact opposite of what I expected. And it not say I expected something to be negative, but everything that she proved, proved me wrong on was exactly what I didn't know I was looking for. Huh. He thought it was gonna be a dumb influencer. <gasps> Mm. I thought I really, really just just wrapped it in a bow nicely. No, 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 totally, totally. But I wanted to unwrap the bow and show you what was at the core in the present. It's true. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> the dirty turd wrapped inside yeah. the bow. <laughs> I just, um, <laughs> tell, like, the things that pissed me off, not being punctual. Uh, oh, yeah. You know, little things that uh, not mm. exactly your world. No, is influencers known for. don't have a great rep for being interesting. Like, by the way, because Jeremy was about an hour and a half late recording yeah. this podcast. We started mm. at nine. Five. Hmm. Right. I know. Hey. Wild past nine. That's our brand. A.M. <laughs> A.M. Anyway, so she just proved me wrong in all the right ways, which okay. was amazing. And I think that although I wasn't, certainly wasn't looking for a relationship in the public eye, mm -hmm. my past experience of having my inbox filled with people that don't know who I am telling me how wrong I am for something I didn't do mm -hmm. probably came in use for the first time. You were well prepared, yeah. I yeah, would say. Sure. You were up to the challenge. Well, I'm. I'll boldly say to this day, I'm. I still think I'm better at receiving negative feedback from online people than you are. You take I, oh, it way yeah. more to heart 100%, than I do. I would 100%. say that most people I know, right? You people have just a, are mad. You have a fucking upset. wall. You're able to put it up and let Thick shit bounce skin. off of you. I also think too that you were the perfect person. Uh, that I agree. What were you gonna say? <laughs> <laughs> you asshole. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much, that guy. That was. I wish I had a button to just play that whenever I needed to. Oh, Can you? Asshole. He spilled on himself. Yeah, oh no. Oh no, that's fucking karma right, right there, baby. Uh -huh. That is karma. Looks Back like you being just perfect. drooled all over yourself. You big baby. Okay. Um, <laughs> um, no, but Jeremy really is the perfect combination of someone who understands influencers in the influencer world and isn't like, what What do you do? You know mm -hmm. what I mean? Because he yeah. had worked with influencers, but also had kind of been thrust in the public eye and had been beat down by someone else's fans mm -hmm. to the point where he, yeah. he he knows what that's like. Cause like, I can't imagine being someone who works in a regular nine to five, doesn't know a single person in like the internet digital space and then gets thrust into that. Like that yeah. would be so overwhelming. Well, that's also definitely seeing how my friends sometimes interact in situations that are influencer or celebrity adjacent. Mm -hmm. I was like, well, you can't do that. Like, I know you didn't mean what you said. I know you don't like, you were thinking about it when you were responding to this tweet or just being yourself, but right. you're not thinking about this in a way where someone's not gonna have the context for whatever it is that you did. And you're going to get that person in trouble because you're associated mm -hmm. with them. And it's mm -hmm. tough, but it's like, you just have to check the way that you present information online because people get upset totally. for good reason. Well, yeah. Let me tell you, as someone who was absolutely in no way prepared, Maggie, you've adopted beautifully. <laughs> oh, yeah. I feel like ignorance, well, no, not ignorance, but I just, 
really didn't know what the territory was at all until I was in it. Yeah, well, I mean, there's nothing that can prepare you for like an army of internet people shitting on you. There's really nothing <laughs> that can prep like you for that. Three years of not even prep work, but I didn't I didn't truly understand yeah. until I was in it. Yeah. Welcome yeah. to the internet where a lot of people will say nice things about you, but one child in Idaho will ruin your goddamn life. <laughs> True. Truly. Oh my God. Oh my God. The, the way they'll say it, it's just like, I wonder if they know that they're not looking as good as they did in their previous videos. And it's like, you're like, oh. I was thinking about that. Not Jennifer. really thinking about it. <laughs> Connor. Yeah. That. And so then Maggie, do you feel like that changed for you once you guys started the podcast? Because I know we've had conversations about how like things on the wrong day, especially can like oh, yeah. hit you right in the gut. So did things shift once the podcast started? I think I'm just naturally a very sensitive person. Same. Yeah. yeah. And so whenever I see just one, like I'll see so many nice comments. I know. It and only it takes just one. Takes the it just one. takes one. And I'll go to Zach and I'll be like, this person said this. <laughs> Like, and it hurt me feelings hurt a lot. So I think just giving <laughs> myself like good boundaries yeah. on like social media and whatever. So that's kind of helped, but. Meanwhile, I'm trying to like get Lauren's attention away from a mean comment towards me. Cause then she's like, no, I just like, I don't, no, don't fight that battle. That's okay. <laughs> oh yeah, I'll go to Stuart, war. Stuart doesn't realize that we're real people. Fuck he Stuart. Didn't, he didn't mean to say that in Fuck the way that he did. Stuart. Let's Stuart be. Stuart, I'm gonna ruin your life. We all have opinions. It's okay. Yeah. You're out there, Stuart. Yeah, I want you to sleep with one eye open. Uh -huh. <laughs> So Stuart. has the relationship dynamic changed since being in the public eye to a degree? She's a hella diva now, man. Yeah. She's like, I'm a podcast host. You better treat me as such. As you should. No, I don't think, absolutely not. I think we're pretty much the same. Yeah. Okay. I feel like that comes with the territory of like having the most solid foundation ever though. Like you guys had yeah. three years of like having a solid relationship before things like go online. Mm -hmm. and, and to be totally honest, our, like she makes, content now, but we don't make much content together. Right. Mm -hmm. So she just kind of doing her thing. Yeah, yeah. That protects you from a whole bunch of bullshit for sure. And I just don't have a lot of time. Like I'm at work most of the week. So trying to pull my head out of like hospital mode versus like doing the podcast or- You're basically something. Hannah Montana. <laughs> <laughs> you get the best we don't of have both worlds. <laughs> no. It was three seconds, it's fine. I do remember like, I don't remember when this was, I, I think it was, in my last relationship, not this one, when I actively decided to essentially stop using social media on a daily basis mm. because every hundred comment was, oh, you're cloud chaser. Mm. Mm. Oh my God, yeah. Was, I don't know what day I was like, you know what? I will not be confused as being a cloud chaser. Mm. Which is why I don't post on anything anymore. It's just like, even though I'm like in this and I probably should promote the podcast when we do some cool shit, mm -hmm. Dude, I'm now just so used to it. That sounds great. I don't, I, I'm so hopelessly addicted to my phone. Me too. I, really? I, my brain, has melted to a fucking mush. And everyone's yep. like, hey, but dude, it's your job. Like I tell people this, I try and like, Convince like complain. Yourself. And they're like, no, but it's like your job though. And I'm like, no, it really fucking isn't. You don't know what I I'm just, refresh, refresh, refresh. Yeah. refresh. I see TikTok him so, gotcha. I look over at his, over his shoulder sometimes and he's refreshing his Gmail. <laughs> <laughs> I love, guys, I love notifications. I I'm can't like, Oh my it. God. Link twice, like, You're let's go to dinner. addicted to the notification. Yeah. I will say that my brain is just exclusively TikTok songs. Mm -hmm. And when she says like, sometimes I'm refreshing Gmail, it's one of like my constellation. Like I just refresh mm -hmm. Twitter, refresh Instagram, back to Gmail, back mm -hmm. to whatever. What's your screen time looking like? Bad. I yeah. put a screen time limiter oh. on. So for social media, I think I allow myself an hour a day. And then after Bullshit. that, I yeah. what? But then gotta after more. that, I go 15 more minutes. And then it like in my mind, it oh, was you like- snooze it? Yeah, I just, I go, what, 50 more minutes, 50 more minutes. And so what ends up happening is it just, like I thought that having to put a passcode in would make me go like, maybe you don't need this sack. It doesn't but work. You don't mm. even think about the pass, you just do it. I just do it. Yeah. My, my fingers are acting before yeah. my mind knows what's happening. Yeah. yeah, I turned off all my notifications. I know you can't Same. do that because you like are like interfacing with people on Gmail all day, but I just look at them when what I mean, get this, back home. Oh, who are you interfacing with on Gmail all day? You're not interfacing, but like emailing back and forth. I, I will say that Zach still owes interface? me a DM for my video and you still haven't hit me back. Oh, and so shit. for being so addicted to your notifications, I just want to say that no, you so ghosted me I on just, Instagram with my right. video. Right. Oh. So he said that he gets at least an hour and then adds 15 minutes intervals. So that's, let's see, two hours the question? where I didn't you get weren't asked. the priority. Honestly, I just forgot. 
This is the problem. Uh-huh. If okay, uh-huh. I very uh-huh. and much out of sight, out of mind. I lock. I, what is? I lack object permanence, like babies. So <laughs> if you if you take something out of my vision, it's gone. It's it gone. doesn't exist. My to do list is I just mark emails as unread, and it huh. drives me crazy that there are other like. I, I message on my phone and, and Instagram DMs you cannot mark as unread. Sometimes I get a text and I'm doing something mm. and then I go away and then it's gone. And then I'm not going to go Are you back saying that you're text. giving permission for us to just double and triple text you? Oh, because yeah. No, I'm begging you. Oh, I, I implore don't you. Don't open that door, Zach. Do don't open Lord, that door for the me. The door is <laughs> open. Oh, yeah. You hit it's me once on a hinge, I will quadruple text yeah. you. No <laughs> worries. Be more like Jeremy. Be tenacious with your texting until I respond. True. Do you want to hear something really cute? Mm. I'm Jeremy. Jeremy's only pinned messages <gasps> on iMessage. That's cute. Ah, I, Lauren came in one time. She goes, am I the only pinned message in your iMessage? And I was like, what, huh? What do you mean? She's like, I, over there on, on your on computer. Yes. Oh, that's, that's so sweet. cute. Who else do I text? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Literally no one. Literally yeah. no one. I will say though, the pinned people at the top of my iMessages, sometimes I gloss over them and I can't tell that there's- Oh, my friend stuff. says that too. Yeah. Yeah. I actually don't know that I like it as a, as a thing. Oh, I love but it. But it's Zach and my mom. Oh. Oh, adorable. And my, and my sister and Zach. Beep. Also one. adorable. I feel like I text a shit ton of people. My also, my hands are so small that like, it's nice to just be able to like go up to the top and Beep. stuff. Yeah, it's, it's very- I, I have, I have nine people pinned. Dang. Wait, well, you can do that? I thought it was yeah, max it's six. Yeah, nine, I know. And Dang, so we're, top it's like a top eight. Are we private eight. in it? Did we make it? Um, Damn, this sucks. Wow. And that's all the time we have for today What's because we lost two friends. What's next um, on the agenda? We text a lot, so I'm surprised. We do text a lot, but like, you gotta compete with people like Kelsey. You know what I mean? She's, Ooh, she texts oh, a lot. Yeah. She texts a lot. So like, we are just consistently sending dog TikToks. Today, I actually sent her a TikTok that she had sent me an hour previously. Mm. And <laughs> it was a fun <laughs> little <laughs> confirmation of our friendship today. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Kelsey and I will voice message a ton. <laughs> oh, Very okay. Oh. Yeah, I like that. That's voice message, wave of the future, guys. Yeah. I'm all about that life. I'm all about it to too. I very anti voice message, really coming around to it. Yeah, you really, really. are. You really are. Yeah. 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 Well, you, you just reminded like me. Multi- Task. Someone sent me a voice message earlier. I was busy. I didn't get to listen to yeah, it, listen to and it. I forgot about it because I couldn't mark it as unread. Some people are better at it than others, though. Like some people can talk to themselves for five minutes on end with no breaks. No YouTubers. Is yeah, what you're saying. Literally, literally. <laughs> you, Kelsey, yeah. Zach, yeah. all great voice messengers. Other people will be like, okay, so I'm talking to myself, and this is a little weird, so I'm going right. to stop. Yeah. Talk to you later. Bye. <laughs> well, I, I read this that Dwayne the Rock Johnson does not leave notes on his projects. He sends voice messages and Whoa. I was like, he ain't got time. He ain't got time to type. He's always walking. He's always moving. Yeah. I'm like, you know what? I'm going to be more like the rock. There's <laughs> one, one place where this is the absolute fucking worst. Hmm. And that is salespeople who think that sending video voice emails Whoa. is the best way to communicate with Terrible. someone. Terrible. Can you lot. imagine opening up an email on your phone? And <laughs> say, a video. Hey Zach, it's me, Jeremy. Just following up on that thing we talked about like, no, no, uh, 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 no, no, no. I uh, want to, uh, I want to be able to disassociate you with your annoying follow up. Whew. Yeah. Our next sponsor is a brand that I have been loving and whose earrings have literally not left my ears since I got them like a month ago. Anna Luisa, that's A-N-A-L-U-I-S-A. Anna Luisa is a jewelry brand that creates pieces of exceptional quality with the environment in mind. Once you see what they have to offer, you are going to be running, not walking to use our code WILD for 10% off your first purchase. Ana Luisa has a sustainable mission to only create their pieces in small batches, which ensures the highest production standards while eliminating excessive waste. They also offset 100% of the carbon emissions related to their product's life cycle. And you know we love a sustainable company, which is why we can absolutely get behind Ana Luisa. They also have super fair prices with pieces starting at just $39. $39? $39. Wow, okay. So you can step your jewelry game up without breaking the bank. Plus, when you use our code WILD, you get an extra 10% off. I have been loving my safety pin earrings. I've gotten so many questions about them. Um, also, I'm not great at changing earrings, so I've just committed to wearing not these ones forever. Not great at changing earrings. That I'm is not. the understatement. I know, it's really nice. It takes not, a task force. It's, it's a lot, it's <laughs> a lot. So it's safe to say that I am obsessed with these safety pin earrings and I'm gonna stay obsessed. With new jewelry collections released every Friday, Ana Luisa is the perfect place to buy something for yourself or a loved one. So head on over to analuisa.com slash wild and use our code wild to get 10% off. I absolutely recommend them. They are a fantastic brand making beautiful, sustainable jewelry. 
Go check out analuisa.com slash wild. That's A-N-A-L-U-I-S-A dot com slash wild, code wild. So let's talk about being a dog mom, dog parents. Yes. Um, Bowie currently is at summer camp right now. Yeah. I know, Bowie's just supposed to have summer camp. I know, he's doing- he's, They shipped he, him off. They no. shipped him off. To I'm Narnia. so mad at both of you. No, I send Lauren updates every single day and he is having- a great time. He, he looks like he's having the best can time. We just, uh, Hannah, uh, well, there, can we just, uh, we'll, we'll give you this picture. Can you just put a picture of Bowie right <gasps> here? Yeah, Bo And then one more over here. We have one with Moose probably. Yeah. Oh yeah, there's right definitely there. a Moose and a Bosif photo yeah, together. Thank you. Just so everyone can kind of see. And if you're on audio, once again, come on I over. Head on over to the video. Yeah, just give it a- well, And while you're there, like and subscribe. Yeah. Yeah. Free. Oh, subscribe. Yeah, you're right. And you're then right. while you're there, come on over to my stuff. And, yeah, maybe- <laughs> <laughs> and then while you're there, head on over to the podcast. And- <laughs> well, so we'll promo you later. It's All right, fine. okay, yeah. okay, okay. <laughs> so why, why do we send Bowie to uh, training? Um, to good boy school. Good boy school. Go- it's good boy school. Cause he's a pretty good boy. He's, he's a pretty good boy. Very good boy. Um, so people are like, what the fuck? You saying your dog way to a super good boy? I feel like training is sometimes a lifestyle, but we just moved and we just had some things we wanted to work on. Um, Bosif yeah. also like strives on structure. He yes. loves thrives. Sorry, I said strides. He also strides through structure, but yes. thrives on structure. Strives and strides through he structure. He is yeah. always like 5,000 steps ahead of me. He's like, what's next? What's next? Anticipating my next move. Uh-huh. So we just had someone kind of help. He's never actually been boarded or sent to good boy school. Mm-hmm. Oh. We've only, I've done most of the training just myself. So. Yeah, this is the first. It sounds like he's in trouble. He's not <laughs> no, in no, no, trouble. no. Moose went to go boy school for yeah. two weeks as a puppy too. It's, he did? Yeah. And he could have used two more weeks. It was really <laughs> like, we got him to like a certain threshold and we're moving and we have workers. So it was like, you know what? This is a great time to like, just solidify the ne- that final 10% yeah. and make him perfect boy. Well, yeah. he has never really been in a house before. That's true. He's never- Oh yeah, Bosef's new um, oh, enemy. Bosef's mm-hmm. new um, least favorite enemy, his arch nemesis the is male the man. male the, slot. The they have a male slot. slot. That's so just- dog. Out of the movie. Classic. Yeah, yeah. It's classic. Yes. <laughs> so he sees the mailman coming and then all these papers just come into the house and he's like, what Not the Bowie's heck? house. Mm-mm. He's like, but what is that? He loves people once, anyone who comes in, he's right. like stoked to see him. But when they're approaching, mm. he gets like very frustrated We think. He's protecting and he bark, you guys. He protect, but like, but then once they're, once if he's allowed to say hi, then the butt's wiggling. The butt's going. He's happy. Yeah. You you just trying one to more cl- time. Here we go. (laughs) (laughs) So we're just trying to give him that confidence that he needs, you know? Yeah. We'll report back. I was a cat person before Maggie, so I've come a long way. Yeah. You really have. This is the way I'm fucking dogging. Seriously, I know. I turned him into a dog person. No, no, no. That's love right there. No, 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 no. That is love. No, 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 no. I love cats. Not a dog person, a Bowie person. I love cats. Yeah, but you like moose. You were literally snuggling with moose on the couch when you got here. Moose is chill. I like moose. Yeah. Doesn't make me a dog person. I'm a Bowie person and I think it was super chill. Listen, and Zach's it. in denial, let's move on. It's fine. Yeah, it's fine. I, yeah, it's, it's okay fine. to be a cat dog person. Yeah. That's great. I, going, I feel very happy for those people. <laughs> I'm going off script and mostly because I'm curious. How do you guys fight? Zach and I? Yeah. I can't imagine you guys fighting. Mm. Oh. I will we say, I will say oh, that that that, mm, that Maggie, mm. Maggie threw a Maggie threw a little Latina little slapo in the kitchen <laughs> early <laughs> earlier today. She's never done this before. I think just because Lauren was here. She just punched me in this like in the not the shoulder. What, what is this part of like your boob? Know, he's a frail individual. You can't just, just like, I didn't hit his back. It was his chest. I was like, Okay, nurse. <laughs> it was very like it might it should have been like a flip flop. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like that's what little that's what yeah, like Lauren and I don't fight very often. But when we do, it's well, steamy. Well, Zach and I are very stubborn. Um, so are she we. keeps saying that to me. I, I, you, <laughs> he doesn't look like he's stubborn. No, I see that. No, I actually see that a lot. Yeah, I see that. Stubborn. I think I actually look very stubborn. Yeah. Yeah. He's very stubborn. Um, we didn't. We don't usually fight a lot. Here was. I mean, here's the the change is that I am an emotional person. I went to therapy as a child. I very believe emotionally that, available. Very that, in tune. I. Sorry to interrupt you. Go ahead. <laughs> I, it's not fine. that my family, <laughs> <laughs> okay, go, go. okay, go ahead. Not that I, my family wasn't emotional. We just weren't used to talking about our feelings. So when I first yeah. started dating Zach, I couldn't even verbalize what, like I, we were just non-confrontational people. I was just, mm. let's just like not talk about it and like be fine. Oh, yeah, I can, yeah. Mm-hmm. interesting. Not on my well. watch. Yeah. yeah. Not, not on mine either. Yeah. Exactly. We're going to talk about our feelings. And we're going to analyze this oh fight. We're going to sit down and say, I, what are we actually I'm feeling like, Zach, here? I don't want to admit that I'm an asshole right now. Just get away from me. 
But if you wow. if you can't admit that you were the asshole, then how will we grow as a couple? These yeah. are good points. True. True. Yeah. That's a good point. That's a yeah. good point. Wow. So I he, feel like I feel like you rarely hear this dynamic of like in the heterosexual relationship, the man being like yes. so See emotionally this? available. Enigma. Mm -hmm. I love Enigma. that for you. Mm -hmm. Yeah. For all of our 2% male listeners, be like Zach. Yeah. Yeah. I think yeah. it sounds like one now. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Honestly, there's yeah. not a lot of Zach, so I don't know what I do. Find your Zach. Yeah. Find your Zach, but I, not this Zach. Find another get Zach. Get away, I'm ticking. Yeah. Are you the fighters that like, get over it quickly or is it like a, a, a drawn out event? <sighs> I would say we get over things within a day or two. I don't think I've mm -hmm. held on to something longer than that. Yeah. That's pretty good. That's pretty good, yeah. yeah. Who apologizes first? Uh, uh, depends. <laughs> I, I think I'm the one that wants to come to the table to talk about it. Here's another thing about Maggie, hates cursing. Oh, uh, yes. And now a problem oh. here, I am a, a just a cursor. It is, is for me, is a language modifier. It me is, too. Is, it's just yeah. a, a yeah. it's my um, you know, it's just your fucking, you're talking same, and same, you're same. putting in between. Yeah. But mm. when we have heightened emotions, mm. oh. if I am to curse, yeah. I get whoo, really- Game over. Yeah. yeah. Now no, we that, fighting. Yeah, that, that, that's, now yeah. we fighting. The line is so fuzzy when you start to become I'm not even that he's becoming verbally abusive, but I think- No, but it's, it's just, it's louder. It's when you're just louder. being louder and and uh, the word passionate. The uh, sharper. Yeah. yeah, yeah, it is a hundred percent. And it like has a totally different meaning than when you say like, oh fuck. And then you're like, like, oh, when you fucking do yes, and exactly. And exactly. it just like, you can't even focus on what's being said. And you're just like, oh my God, my feelings are hurt. My feelings are hurt. My feelings are hurt. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I get it. Yeah. I feel like Lauren gets so mad when we're in the middle of a little uh, tiff and she'll say or do something that is slightly aggressive. And I'll make the point to point out that like, if I gave you that same energy, uh -huh. it would really be overwhelming. Mm -hmm. So if you could stop doing that. You know, you know how that goes over in I one mean, mid fight? It, it, <laughs> it goes over poorly. As I someone bet. who's attempted that, no, it doesn't. Yeah, when oh you're doing God. a little uh, a little audit of the person being like, hey, like I'm the really responsible one. I think that you're making a mistake right now. Oh my God. It's received it that really way. well. <laughs> I might as well say it that way, but that's not. You what might I as say. well. You might as well. But also too, like I think there's something in like if I were to say something at an elevated voice and you were to say something at an elevated voice, your, your voice is just so much more powerful and deeper that I think hmm. like I have the luxury. <laughs> you you have the latitude to go further because his voice goes gets scary farther. Quick. Yeah, yeah, hundred percent. Can I give you by the way? So going back to Bowie real quick and your voice. Uh, Jeremy mm. has a oh, very yeah. authoritative mm. uh, oh, yeah. voice. And what we've learned, Bowie don't respect us for <laughs> shit, <laughs> but he respects, yeah. can you do your <gasps> Bowie come? Bowie come yeah. now. Yeah. So he I now com at home. Completely responds to that. Zach has energy, yeah. so, uh, just too soft. So me. yeah, my little soft boy shit don't work. <laughs> <laughs> so when You're I want boys. Bowie, okay. when okay. I want Bowie on, to get me, I put on my Jeremy put voice. On your Jeremy I go, voice. Bowie come. <laughs> Does he listen? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> I know Moose was the exact same thing. Moose, Moose will choose Bowie, me to come. snuggle with. Bowie, yeah. no. Bowie. Moose, Bowie, if you don't mind. Moose, um, will you please come maybe, maybe whenever you can. Yeah, when you, like if it's, confident, it's convenient for you, like would you please come? Yeah, Moose was the same way. Like he would he would choose to snuggle with me nine out of ten times, but he don't he don't listen to me for shit. <laughs> she's yeah. she's your best friend. It, Moose does listen to me a little better than you. Oh my God. Yeah, hundred percent. Ten out of ten times. Okay, got it. hundred so percent. And I'm also once again going off script so long to be like we had a plan. No, we don't have a plan. I just want to go dog and fun things. Yeah. No okay, plan. Great. No plan. Fuck me then. Um so YouTube dies tomorrow. It's gone. Oh. It's, it's terrible. It's, it's it's and Google says exciting. no more. What are you doing? That's kind of exciting. <laughs> <laughs> I'd be fr free at last. <laughs> you liar. You'd be so sad. Well, yes, my ego would be devastated. Right. Uh, right. Not being able to have that quick hit of dopamine. Also, oh no notifications to, to refresh. <sighs> no, what would Gmail, we do? Just refresh. Okay, so we- Yeah, wait, wait, wait. Gmail's still okay, right? Yeah, no, right. Of the same no, no. parent company. Yeah, no, no, Gmail, of course. Zach, I need you to add this into your rotation is find my friends. <laughs> I <laughs> see where everybody's at. Yeah, I love find my friends. It's I so fun. I love watching them go bing, bing, yeah, yeah, bing, bing, around bing. LA. And yeah. I'm like, where are you going now? Or like, I love two people who don't actually really know each other, but they're kind of crossing paths on find friends. And I'm like- <laughs> that hasn't happened to me before. Dear listeners, my, mom, this, this my is, mom is all up in my fan friends. Is your oh, mom? my mom too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 She'd be like, you're home, aren't you? My FaceTimes. Yeah. Meanwhile, was, I can't see where my mom is, but she can see where I am. Oh, that's oh. fucked up. Oh, really? Unrequited yeah. fine friends. Donna's probably getting it. I don't think, I, don't, I mean, maybe Donna is getting just, it. 
Go off, Donna. Donna's probably getting it. Donna's getting it. She should get it. Don, she should, Donna should get it. Yeah. Yeah. Shout Donna out to the one percent of listeners, yeah. male listeners. If you see Donna this, should if get it. Slide on in. Slide on in. I meant to DM you, sick <laughs> fucks. Oh my god. Jesus <laughs> Christ. <laughs> Future mother-in-law. My God. I oh, meant slide into the DMs, slide you sickos. <laughs> you said it. <laughs> Was Lord DIY. Oh, Craft God. Extraordinaire. Wow. Okay, so YouTube's done. What are you doing? You know, by the way, dear Tillies, this is how every single one of our conversations go. We come over, we ask three questions, right. and then an hour later we get to them. Uh, and as many offshoots on them as possible. To be fair, it was an hour and a half. We, we've spent more time still pre-podcast than we <laughs> yeah. have podcast. Yeah, that's right. true. Yes. Uh, I think the I last time we came write. over, we asked Lauren at least five different questions. Do you remember that? Two nights ago. Yeah, there was two nights ago. Yeah, when it was like, bing, bing, bing. I was like, okay, we got question one, two, three. Okay, and you go first. And okay, and then it was, so navigation was uh, complicated. And who to thunk? We scheduled this podcast two days later and you think we would have chilled by now, but here we are. <laughs> here we are. <laughs> no. <laughs> YouTube dies, I would go away and write. And I would right. try and do, yeah. Right. Yeah. For sure. Yeah, I, I still have a deep passion and desire to do scripted projects. So that's what I would do. Ooh. And I mm -hmm. think that without the noise, the constant noise and distraction of dopamine and my daily job that I do love dearly and gives me uh, a life and a livelihood, I think I'd write something cool. I think so too. You're super fucking funny and I think you'd write something great. Thanks dog. And if YouTube continues to exist forever, then I will never get that done. <laughs> <laughs> that, that, answers that question. Yeah. Okay, okay, so I remember like in the pandemic, you were like, yeah, like I want to spend more time writing. And then we I just tried. played Animal Crossing. It, yeah, I did a lot of that. Yeah. I mean, I did do like, here's the thing. La uh, what, between November and December, I took like a full month off from Try Guys and I got a bunch of writing down, but here's the way writing works. It's really fucking shitty until you write it again. Mm. So I wrote it. I wrote the bad version. Right. Now, okay. you, now you gotta go do it again and again and again and again. And mm. I don't, really haven't had much time. Mm. I'm trying to, trying to work on something. I'm trying to work on two scripted projects on the Try Guys channel this year. The more I say it, the put more it I'm holding to doing it. Yeah, put it on the world. Yes, yes, it. yes. Accountability. Uh, and, and you now, say this year? Like before oh, yeah. the end of this 2021, year. Like maybe. One better come out in July. And at this rate, it ain't gonna. <laughs> <laughs> We're halfway, almost halfway done. Yeah, I'm gonna tell you what, I'm I am not hitting the deadlines that Stop. I am setting for myself. But I'll you guys it heard it here first. August 1st, Zach's gonna come at it with you. And, and while, you know, look, I gave the permission to Lauren, get at me every single day. Zach, where's that project you told us about? Hey Zach, notice that uh, you haven't posted that thing yet. I want it like just barrage me. So you you do owe me an Amazon item for me to buy for my video. I love that. So, so here's what we're gonna do. You are going to take a very embarrassing nude, okay? Oh. A Polaroid. Ooh. You're gonna give it to us. And well, we're gonna hold it hostage okay. and release yeah, yeah, yeah. it on a specific day unless your scripted project is live. Mm -hmm. First problem. My nude's not gonna be embarrassing. I know, no, no, no. It'll be, it'll be hard, but we'll figure it out. Okay. Is it gonna be an ankle feature? Oh yeah. By the way, someone was tweeting at me the other day, photos of my feet. Was it oh, on like a wiki? No. Wiki feet comes up way too much on this podcast and I don't know what how I feel about that. Okay, I'll go off script. I got another one. Yeah. Are we? We we talked about uh the, yeah, but yes, I will take a nude. You guys can take the photo. Love that idea. Uh and tasteful, of course. I'll put Maybe. it in a in a <laughs> safe so here. I think that's a great idea. Yeah. Fear is a great motivator. Mm -hmm. Yeah, true. <laughs> We've established we vibe. We have different pods that vibe. I've been thinking about this because we kind of said it offhand the other day and I don't know if you thought we were serious, but we were kind of serious. Do we think we would be compatible vacation buddies? Oh. Oh. Because I was like it's super into the idea. I've been into this idea multiple times. He literally tapped me on the shoulder the other day and he was like, let me oh, answer Let's talk this to Lauren question and Jeremy about vacationing. With the answer that I gave when you weren't around. <laughs> <laughs> I said, we should go to a location that we might still go to. And Lauren said, I just don't know if they want to because they're they're moving into the house right now, but that uh. would be great if we could. Oh. I really just said that I was like, I don't know if they're gonna want to do that because yes, yeah, they got like the house. To do it. Oh, I'm so happy. Okay, wait, so I when? need- I need when? A, Give me a date. Last week of June. Oh shit, let me check. I think we can do that. <gasps> Shut up right now. Like the whole week? No, probably like five days. Five days, yeah. That's good. Like, uh, so what Nine what kind of uh, like a what kind Friday of travelers are you guys? Because I know that you're kind of on the fly in regular like weekend that. life. Yeah. So what kind of like travelers? Like also like relaxing right. versus adventure. Okay, we're gonna do all the questions. Uh -huh. We're gonna pose a, each pose a question, okay. and then we'll answer on three together. So one, two, three, yes or no. Oh my god. Do when you go on a vacation, do you like to have an itinerary? No. Wait, but what one, if there's a middle ground? 
One, I feel, I two, feel like I'm middle ground. Three, yes. yes. Middle. Oh, yes, you said yes? Yeah. Oh, yes. my God. Oh. No. I'm team fucking itinerary. I want You're team itinerary? Oh, thank God. I'm the most out of my trip. I've but been Zach, to a new place. Zach and I don't have a lot of endurance. We've. Oh, 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 you people. guys are perfect for me. Oh, my God. This is the best thing. We like a mixture of like adventure plus lounge. You, I, I'm just gonna join your vacations, and if Jeremy wants to come, great. If not, great. As long as we got one of you, because I, I was concerned about Jeremy, because Jeremy uh, won't walk in the gardens with us. Won't walk in the botanical gardens <laughs> with us. Zach and I are members of the uh, Huntington Botanical Gardens uh -huh. in Pasadena. Yep. Shout Beautiful. out. Gorgeous. Beautiful. Stunning. Stunning. So fun. Can't bleep that out. We're not done. Stunning. <laughs> the most beautiful they have. Wait, Japanese oh my God. cherry blossoms. They have uh, the Japanese garden. Jeremy the Chinese won't gardens, go. The California There's no gardens. open bar. Okay. Uh, no, sucks. no, no. Even when there is alcohol, like for example, the Rose Bowl flea market has alcohol that I you can just- I've been there. Yes. You hate, we almost I, broke up over that weekend because he had to carry a pillow that I bought, oh <laughs> which wasn't ideal. God. I will admit it was not ideal, but- You're big, put you a, you're carry a big, shit. carry strong in, man. 13 seconds into this thing, I want this massive, huge, just gigantic You're exaggerating. Pillow. And then I walked around for two and a half hours with this stupid in fucking the, In pillow. a hot parking lot. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> it but gets honestly, hot there. Just, when Zach <sighs> went with me to like the renegade craft fair or like unique markets <laughs> in downtown, I'm like, this is my person. This is my person. This is my person. <laughs> Love a good so craft nice. fair. Yeah. Babe, you're still my person, even though you won't go to a craft fair with me. What's great is you have wonderful friends like Maggie. So you don't need me to do yeah, that. Yeah, it is. There was a unique markets this weekend. And I was like, should I text Lauren and ask if she wants to come? You should have. Yes. But we were already hanging out that night. So. Right. <laughs> so I was like, oh. So it could have been like a marathon date for us. It could have been a nine hour hangout. It could have been a nine hour hangout. Wait, I'm so excited about this because literally I, I downstairs. I was, I was for it. Lauren immediately pushed back. And it sounds like you're gonna have the worst time of the four. Yeah, seriously, you kind of sound like the- I'm uh, a chameleon. No, 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 Jeremy, Jeremy just kind of does whatever everyone else does. Okay, like I got another one. Very, yeah, okay. Uh, no, Airbnb or resort on mm. three. One, Depends on the place. two, three. Airbnb. Airbnb. I'm stuck. What? Because I, I feel I've very been, strongly about I've this I've been one. resort for so long, for so long. And I'm starting to really go towards Airbnb. Nice. So, yes. okay. okay, we're gonna slowly make you realize that you're wrong yeah. about everything. No, but also <laughs> when we were even thinking about Hawaii, like going in June, we were looking at Airbnbs because like, if you go, especially with a few other people, right, with people what Airbnb, you can get, no yeah, 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 hundred percent, hundred percent. Well, not even what you can get. To me, the thing that's cool about, and you're not really like this at all. So maybe this is why it doesn't- I can't um, wait to hear what's coming after no, this. No, so like, <laughs> I'm, uh, I will strike up a random conversation with someone at a bar Mm. Uh, like at the hotel bar or like at the pool bar day one mm -hmm. and become best. Like think about the times like when we, went to we Fiji, did that in Fiji, this, right? But like I'll be the one that like walks up to like random people that we don't know and have nothing in common with. It's and the find beauty something of traveling. Common. And I think it's easier to do that when it's just a couple yeah. at a resort. Right. Whereas like an you Airbnb, you kind of have to. Right. Yeah. Whereas an Airbnb, you're kind of like isolated. So to me, it's if. Okay, I see what you mean. It's the group of people. Do you me, need the extra socialization? Yeah. Okay, Unless I haven't thought about that. you're doing activities, you're probably more than likely going I to restaurants. I hate forced activities. Oh. Planned forced activities as adults. Wait, what about that in Fiji forced. when we did that, that pizza boat? What about if we're going to right. and bars? And <laughs> not always alcohol. No, but just like to me, <laughs> or restaurants. Lauren does not enjoy going to someone she has no, doesn't know mm -hmm. at all. And mm -hmm. like finding a thing that is a conversation striker that like actually leads to a conversation. Mm -hmm. It's not just like, excuse me, oh, thank you. And then like moves on. Like that's just not your personality. Okay, I've never actually been to the place that we're thinking about going to, but just like off the dome. Hawaii. Any, okay, great. Any, <laughs> any city that I go to, I wanna do like a food tour. I wanna do some sort of nature hike thing. Mm -hmm. Had me mm -hmm. in the first half. Uh, I wanna go probably there, come on, snorkeling, duh. Had me in the third quarter. Uh, <laughs> and what, and then maybe a second food tour, cause that sounds great. Oh, so three for four. Okay, but like you have the smallest palate right now out of all of us. So yeah, that's, that's <laughs> he's on vacation. vacation. He goes all out. Mm -hmm. yeah. Does your does your body pay for that though? Like, does that does that have repercussions? Zach seems to the guy who's constantly paying for the thing he did yesterday, but continues <laughs> to do it tomorrow. I'm not even kidding. We literally had this conversation. Yes, he was like, I wonder if it's because I had Mendocino Farms yesterday that I feel shitty today. <laughs> What? Mendocino Farm is probably one of the more healthier options as well. Right, and so he was laying very... on the couch like a dead person. Like, <gasps> I wonder if Mendocino Farms is why it made me feel mm. bad. <laughs> yeah, very healthy. But I mean, for context here, people are like, what the fuck are they talking about? I have a very, I have an autoimmune disease. I have an invisible illness. And 
there is a theory that the food I eat uh, has a very big impact on how I feel. So as an experiment right now, I have gone almost entirely vegan. It's vegan plus salmon. So I'm like, what do you call that? that? It's not pescatarian because it's a little more strict. Plant-based with some fish. Mm -hmm. Uh, Mm -hmm. So yeah, I would have to do like a, a seafood tour or something. Great. Lots of poke. And so I don't eat fish. <gasps> oh, right. I forget about. Okay. We talked about going. Now who do you want to travel with? No, oh, we talked about going no. to. But pre pandemic we talked about going to Japan all together, which I was super down for. And then I found out that Lauren doesn't eat. I'm like, you don't eat sushi. What the fuck are we going to do in Japan? What do you mean? Oh my God. No, there's so much to do in Japan. It's so fun. I will show you where all the fun plushies are and all the good shopping. Oh my God. Rolls. Can I get some miso soup? I'll yes. take a teriyaki chicken. I want to go to the arcades. I know. The robot arcade? Yes. Yeah. Okay, yeah. We'll, do, we'll do Hawaii as a little test. Oh, yeah. but we've told people now when we're going and where we're going. The, well, in four Hawaii, seasons, Hawaii you know where big... to call us. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, or Marriott. Hill. We, really, I'm not that big. Well, no, we already said Airbnb, so you don't know where it will be. Yeah, true. You don't true. know. Could there, be anywhere. Lots of islands. islands. Yeah. yeah. You don't know. We're going. I to wish the, that we were anywhere near cool enough for a mass exodus. To, like as if we were the Kardashians. Yeah. Like people are gonna flock to Hawaii now in the last week of June. <laughs> to find us. Yeah. Love that. Uh-huh. Well, now we're we're not that people that already live in Hawaii that listen to the podcast still probably won't go out of their way to like find us. By oh, the way, no, no, I have no. a feeling everyone else has had this idea already and the tickets are gonna be very not expensive. Crazy. No, no it's kidding. No, yeah, it's I not was crazy. thinking about it. Zach and I were like thinking about planning something before. in the future. We should like before we leave here. Yeah, we should book it. Should we just pause the podcast? Children are on summer break. Yeah. True. All the children. And All plus the, the pandemic. Children. And plus the pandemic. But yeah, being vaccinated just gives you so much more opportunity now. Mm-hmm. Okay. I really wanted to ask this question to Maggie, but Zach kept talking. Um, <laughs> let's Sounds say right. all illnesses disappeared tomorrow and there's no longer children that need a nurse. Okay. Mm. Which would be a great world, but <gasps> let's just take that out. What are you doing? What am I doing? I've always wanted to be a designer. <gasps> That's cool. Yeah. Like some sort of, if I could do... Honestly, when I was in grade school, I wanted to do fashion, but my dad was a first generation immigrant. Got it. So was my mom. And she's like, From? I can't, Peru. Pe- Peru. Peru. And they were like, I can't help you if you fail. So right. maybe Stability. do something that you still love. Cause like, we want to support you and like do whatever you want to do, but please don't do something that risky. My mother said the same thing, but less nice. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's literally, by the way, in Mitchell's versus the machines, like what the dad says, and it's such a crushing moment. He did not say it that that crushing, right? If you what? fail, if not, if I fail, but like if you ever run into accrue tr- a lot yeah, of students. Yeah. Ooh, can you wow. talk to our Spanish speaking listeners real quick? Hola, buenos días, gracias para escuchar el podcast. <gasps> you chose the one. You are fluent in Spanish and chose to say and the you, ones that like, all of us understand. Oh no, I <laughs> didn't. As a Canadian, I have no idea. Our second language is French. I got no idea. I was oh, like, you, yay! <laughs> <laughs> well, you put me on blast. You're like, say something. Go. She, I she thought said, it was great. Hello, thank you for listening. <laughs> thank, thank you for listening. Like, okay, got it. That's fine. Oh. Do you want to try number two? What do you want me to say? Give her a sentence. Um, make sure and like and subscribe to Wild Till Nine. I don't want to say subscribe in Spanish. Us. Okay. Well. <laughs> the yawn. I was hoping that Hannah would just cut away from my claim. Well, you know, I could, so I can enjoy we'll, the yawn. We'll move on from putting you in the Spanish. <laughs> yeah. by, by the way, mind fuck, my kids, my future children are going to speak Spanish and I'm going to be left out. No, you're going to be forced to learn Spanish. Yeah. At the age of like 35, 40. Yeah. <laughs> you know what? See, I've been trying to train him. Sometimes I'll just talk to him in Spanish and he's like, yeah, yeah. you know what old yeah. crusty white guys are not good at? Learning new languages. <laughs> or new things. <laughs> Adaptation. I mean, I am genuinely shocked at just how stupid I am when it comes to new languages. It is not, it, it, I, don't, I don't get it. Yeah. It doesn't work. And it's not that I don't like respect or wish that I could more. My brain just doesn't do it. It depends on the language, but Spanish is relatively easy. And I you would be that. able to hmm. practice it enough because you are living in Southern California. That would be the and language that would be quite helpful. Yes, yeah, so yeah. helpful. Yeah. I know. Yeah. I curse my French every day. I'm like, this is useless. This is straight up useless here. Oh my gosh. I wish, uh, when I went to France, I anytime I try to say a French word, I sound like I was speaking Spanish and I just oh, hated it. I hated it. You yeah. guys be such a creative couple if you were just like writing for like scripted shows and you were designing the next whatever. It's such a creative couple. And you can write so, it in two languages. So you're you're more interested in the other version of American. us as friends. Yeah. I'm like, so like, when are we gonna evolve out of this, <laughs> this stage? Uh, the V2, 2.0. Let's retire this. Yeah, so we had a good, had a good run, got us here. Yeah, 
I'm just trying to get We're ahead done. of something. Okay. <laughs> All right. So speaking of children. Mm. Baby. Actually, I don't know if how many kids you guys want or if you want kids. Oh, I thought you were gonna be like, when are you having like don't put that oh, shit on no. us? When are you having because kids? I will say no, you're not putting that shit back on us either. Do you get that on the internet? There there's just this like within the parasocial oh relationship. God. People think that they can ask you if you are currently pregnant all the fucking time and all every single And the answer's no, guys. I'm one not. of our partners has been asked that so many times. It's like, no, really? bitch, I'm fucking bloated today. Yeah, like, literally, I had some ramen and I am bloated with water and sodium intake. Mm -hmm. It's so rude. Yeah. I like, and I want to give people the benefit of the doubt that they didn't know how to translate from their first language to English and they just didn't quite put it the right way. No, but I'm still hurtful. Just rude. Still hurtful. I just rude. Either way. Yeah, Either I mean, way. something's just trying to translate and like you, yeah. you come off rude when you don't mean to. Sure. I understand it comes from a place from excitement, but. Oh, but yeah, but don't until we tell you we're going like also some people I've posted a picture once like, oh, is he also telling this? And I'm like, you think I'm going to be coy about my pregnancy announcement? Right. It's going to be a little Easter egg in the background. <laughs> You're like, bitch, no, I'm going to drag this out for days and monetize and that this shit. This video is sponsored by Pampers. Yeah. <laughs> Pampers is a, yeah, I can see that. Yeah. Anyway, uh, so yes, we're not trying to have kids. How many kids do we want? I'm from I'm a I'm a two child household, so I think minutes. I'm perfect. Honestly, I'm not. I don't feel like I'm in super much of a rush because a lot of my maternal need, because I wanted kids like so early when I was graduating. Really? Oh, really? Yeah. And then I became a pediatric nurse, and I'm like, oh my gosh, kids are hard a lot of work. Yeah. She got it covered. I yeah. got it covered. You got a BOSIF and you got your job. Yeah. I would yeah. say you know once again making us the non traditional couple. Uh, a heteronormative couple. I feel like it's more something that I talk about than you. Really mm -hmm. interesting. Yeah. yeah. Wait. So you had one sibling. Two. Two, Two siblings. I'm it. actually you the middle one. Got it. Yeah. Okay. And we're both only. Children. Did you We're see what my fingers children. did there? I like stuttered yeah. trying to get to three. Yeah. Was, yeah that was tough to watch. Yeah. My fingers stutter. You know, for the audio listeners, that was a finger stutter. Stay. How about you guys? One. 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 Yeah. Somewhere between zero and one. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Okay. One and a moose. Yeah, Aww. I I just like I get a uh, I get overwhelmed with the idea of being um, outnumbered, mm. <laughs> <laughs> and so like one dog, one baby feels like the perfect amount. But of... I think we'll have two. Oh no, I don't think so. What if you have so. a baby boy? You'll be outnumbered by men. Oh, actually, I actually would <gasps> love a boy. Prefer I prefer that, yeah. a boy. Actually, yeah. Oh. Yeah. I mean, I'd be happy with so much, and like in my mind now, at like twenty seven, not knowing a fucking thing about parenthood, you know what I mean, and like right. getting pregnant, a yeah, boy does sound great. All of my friends now who are parents, it is become clear and clear. No one knows anything about parenthood. Oh, nothing. You know nothing. You know nothing. The kid's 20. Yeah. I'm gonna take it a step further. No one knows anything. At all. Absolutely no it nothing. Is our, one of our most common conversations is how we just thought growing up that adults knew things. I talk yeah. about this all the time. Yes. They don't. Oh my God. I thought that you would hit a specific age <laughs> and, and all of a learn. sudden you, you flip on a bigger brain. <laughs> and then I started getting older and I was like, Oh, Holy shit. where's my flip? These people are like bitchy, they're petty, they're like high schoolers, but now they're just 35, 40. Yeah. To our younger listeners, I want you to know, everyone is a fucking idiot. Yeah, mm -hmm. and knows in nothing. In their own way. Yeah. Everyone's broken in their own way. Uh -huh. And we're all just uh -huh. trying to figure it out. And uh -huh. I think that that's beautiful. I think so too. We were watching couples therapy all together a few nights ago and it was just like, everybody, Show on it's on Showtime. Oh my god, yeah, just couples Go therapy. Check it out. Honestly, if you like our podcast, you'll probably like couples therapy. True. Yeah, yeah. I think I think the audience would be, have a nice overlap. There. It's how um, our relationship will go if we didn't have a podcast and we didn't get to talk about anything, and then twenty years later, everything just kind of like busted open. I That's think couples that. therapy. That. Have you guys ever? Uh, do you know anyone that's done couples therapy? Yeah, mm. I think it's awesome. I yeah. think so too. Yeah, yeah. I, and just like you can do couples therapy if you are in a good place in your yeah. relationship too. I There's, think it's super there healthy. There are people on that TV show that have only been together for like six months. months. Yeah, 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 yeah but yeah. they all have problems. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that couple They're specifically problems. has like problems. They probably should have yeah. like been there maybe three or four months ago. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's okay though. That's okay. I, I, I'm a big fan of therapy. I have my therapy today. Mm. And uh, Did it, are you fixed? Is it all, uh, is it all over? I mean, is it done? Work in progress, babe. Work in progress. WIP. What? Yeah. WIP. WIP. Yeah. yeah. Talk in whip, whip, whip. 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 Watch me whip, whip, whip. Once Morning. again, no copyrights here. Uh -uh, uh, yeah, it's not fine. Cleared. We're not trying to monetize or anything. Um, I mean, I hate to be uh, boring, but like, let's plug this shit. What's going on? What are you guys working on that's really and passionately interesting right now? Mm -hmm. Maggie? Uh, <laughs> I have a podcast. It's called You Can Sit With Us. Um, feel free to tune into that. And who, who would want to of all of the amazing, really all 21 <laughs> to 34 year old females that are 99% of this podcast. Yeah, if you want like a group of girlfriends to just like 
turn your brain off and listen to. Or, I feel we already have us. like a lot of overlap in our audience. Cause like I get a lot of comments saying that like, uh, you can sit with us and our podcast are ones that are in their weekly routine. Cause then you guys upload on uh, the same day as us. Are you guys a, a Tuesday? Are we a Tuesday? We're Tuesday. Mm-hmm. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, double Tuesday. Double Tuesday content, baby. And guys, yeah. 1% out there, if you're interested in a little bit more of a female perspective, maybe yeah, head on over. For sure. We, have, in there for we you have male listeners as well. Yeah. And then also We're- there's three more podcast options that the uh, the trackers <laughs> produce. Just, <laughs> so yeah. there's something for everyone. Popping podcast empire. I'll, Seriously. I'll, I'll plug uh, mine, Guilty Pleasures, which is my current little- That's all the time we have for today, guys. <laughs> uh, Lauren was on it. She talked about Pitch Perfect. You just like, it. that's my little pet. Project project right now. It's the the least loved on of all of our. What do you mean least loved on? It's just it's it's the little it's growing. It's the little baby. It's, it's okay. It's, it's a, little a puppy, fun. and it's it's my passion on the side. It brings him so much joy. so much joy. He Zach loves to, movies. He Love gets to watch me. a movie at nine a.m. before his podcast, and he's like, "This week I watched the Lisa McGuire movie," and I get upset because I was like, "Why didn't you call me?" I wanted to watch. Yeah, that. that's actually you did, you did her dirty there, Zach. I'm gonna yeah. say you were in the wrong there, and I just I wanted to know that watch that movie's it been out that for a night. couple I was years like, we're, now. We're watching it again. This is what it was. Uh, El Mills came on. She wanted to, to talk about Paolo. it. No, when El Mills wants to come on, Hillary <laughs> Duff. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. Exactly. So what can you do? <laughs> so guilty pleasures. I love guilty pleasures. Us. Great. The links pod. will be below. Mm-hmm. And the most important thing, of course, please tweet at me incessantly and be like, "Yo, where the fuck is that scripted project? Harass me." Can we put a date on it? Like that you feel confident. August 15th. Okay. Oh. When's your birthday again, Zach? July 26th. Oh, oh, oh you're an early Leo. Yeah. Okay. All you're right. An early Leo. I'm yeah. surrounded by Leo. Thank you yeah. very much for coming that to hang out with us, guys. Gross. Kelsey. A pledge. Oh, yeah. Bowie. We'll Bowie's a Leo, too? Yeah. Wow. By the way, Food Network show coming out on the 25th. Oh, yeah. Shit. Oh, that's super, super soon. Plug that? that. July 25th. Can we talk about that? July 25th. Day before my birthday. <gasps> Is that official? Yeah. Food wow. Network show, July 25th. Wow. Boom. That's so exciting. They'll forget though. <laughs> I also have a Food Network show coming out. Is it on, is it gonna be on uh, HBO <laughs> or is it gonna be on uh, Food Network or? On um, Discovery Plus. Okay, got it. Yeah. And Food Network. Got it. Wow, you know, that's they have a new so boss. exciting. Mm. You guys can be the same platform soon. Actually, okay, wait, uh, so... she has a new boss. Isn't that It's her? true. Yeah, it's yeah, David yeah. Zasloff. Yeah. yeah. Did you hear that? No one's gonna care about no that. No one cares about that. Yeah, thank you so yeah. much for coming <laughs> to hang out. I feel like, I, I think it's weird to thank you guys because we would've hung out anyway. <laughs> yeah. Um, uh, I'm, it's thank you for letting you record it. Yeah, right. Right. yeah. Thank yeah, you for letting us monetize. Yeah. Yeah, thank you. You know. <laughs> and um, hopefully we can uh, have you guys on again. Uh-huh. We can make a little recurring segment. Uh-huh. Check in with Zaggy. Uh-huh. Comment, like, and, and subscribe and say all the nice things below. And if you want to be mean, fuck off. Wait, I'm so excited about the Tillies. That's one of my favorite parts I just did in this podcast. The how Tillies. Do you, how, do you, you, how do you spell it? T-I-L-L-I-E-S. Yeah, for sure, for sure. Ooh. Like T-I-L-L. I, I yeah, yeah, no, 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 I, I can't be. Why. No, no, it can't be why because that's already a brand, and oh. Tilly's is like got a little downhill lately. I think so. Let's let's we're gonna rebrand yeah, from that, that and separate ourselves. Yeah, but that's not and unless you want to be a sponsor. Double L. Yeah, double L for sure. Otherwise, it's Tilly's. Have a great fucking week. We'll see you next <laughs> Tuesday. Bye. Bye. Bye.